Hi, everybody. The point of today's video is to explain how to set up timekeeping in QuickBooks that could be used with the service program. I'll also show you how to sync over that information into the service program. Uh, the next video after this will explain how to use timekeeping in the service program. So to begin, in QuickBooks, you must first be logged in with an admin account in single user mode. Once that happens, you want to go to uh, edit and then preferences. From here, towards the bottom of this list, locate time and expenses and go to the company preferences tab. Make sure you enable the you track time, set it to yes. Then select the day of the week that time will begin or timekeeping will start. So if the beginning of your work week is Sunday, select Sunday. Keep in mind this this day of the week also displays on the timesheets printed out out of QuickBooks. So set this appropriately. Once that is set, click OK. And now we can set up timekeeping for our employees. Simply go to Employees, then Employee Center. Locate your employee and double click on their name. From here, we're going to go to where it says Payroll. And here at the bottom, you want to select Use Time Data to Create Paychecks. Once you select that, everything else from here is entirely up to you, setting your, your employee's pay frequency, direct deposit, taxes, all that good stuff you can fill out as you need to. Uh, for the scope of this video or this training, uh, we just need this is as a bare minimum to be set up. And then we'll click OK. Once that's done, all we now have to do is go into the service program, click on Update QuickBooks, and here at the bottom where it says Select a Specific Table, we want to locate where it says Timekeeping and click Reload. This will bring over the new employee timekeeping records so that it is usable for the service program. Check out the next video on how to set this up in the service program and how to use it. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you.